Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, and I'm here again with my friends, Ben and Blake and Shay. And we are about to play some more exciting Commander for all of you. This show is sponsored by CoolStuffInc.com. And the person who leaves the comment that the winner of the game likes the most and picks out will get a $50 gift code to CoolStuffInc.com. So make sure that you watch the whole thing and leave a comment possibly targeted towards the person who comes out as the victor. And also make sure, please, that you leave your YouTube notifications on or you check back on your comment like a week later because you might have won and you might not know it. And that would be awkward. You wouldn't want to leave 50 bucks on the table. I know I don't. That's not what it... Yeah, but we like value around here, like many of you. And because we're sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., we got something new in here. This is the Commander Hub, uh, the Cool Stuff Inc. Commander Hub. So we've got this cool thing in the middle where we're all going to put our commanders, life counters, poison counters, some other counters, dice, <laughs> just, you know, keep it all nice and cool, nice and clean. And uh, two of you, Shay and Ben here, have the new Cool Stuff Ink uh, Battlefield Commander playmats that kind of, yeah, just keep all your stuff nice and organized. What do you think of those? I really like this a lot. It makes my brain very happy, the organization. It's great. Yeah. It does look very nice. Mm -hmm. The black and gold is a classic look. Yeah. yeah, it is nice. So, what am I doing today? What's the worst possible thing I can do? Well, first of all, you might have noticed I have this big shiny cased commander here. I don't know what they call these. Like It's, it's like... Um, hard cases. Hard, it, hard cases. Yeah, that's deep. I think there's a thing for... Graded? Is yeah. graded the thing? All right. Anyway, I've got Hitsugu Devouring Chaos, and I have this particular one in this extra fancy case because Wizards of the Coast sent me a package with the release of Kamigawa Neon Dynasty, and this was one of the items in it, and I think the yellow one is... It's either second or third most rare. It's definitely not the rarest. There are some like really rare versions of this, but you know it's hard to get. And I wanted to thank Wizards for sending this to me by featuring it in a video. So thank you, Wizards. I've also got the regular version of the card here in case I have to shuffle it into my library or if something happens to it. But Hitsugu Devouring Chaos is a legendary ogre demon 4-4. For a black, I can sacrifice a creature and scry two. And for two and a red, I exile the top card of my library, and I may play it this turn. And when you exile a non-land card, the Devouring Chaos here deals damage equal to the exiled card's mana value to any target. So this is kind of a Chaos deck, and it has a lot of big expensive cards in it that I would love to flip over from sorceries like Blasphemous Act and Volcanic Salvo that have high mana values to Eldrazi like Ulamog and Kozilek well. that I know you guys would love for me to flip over. I mean, half the time, though, I don't even end up casting them. I just end up dealing the damage. But um, I do have some com some synergies in this deck, and you're going to hate them. Oh. So in the spirit of the worst possible, we like to outline the worst possible thing we could do to our opponents so that we're kind of mentally adapted to what kind of game we're going to play. So I have Kiki Jiki Mirror Breaker, and I have Zealous Conscripts. So if I get these two mm -hmm. together, the conscripts can target Kiki Jiki and untap it. Kiki Jiki can make a copy of the conscripts. I can make infinite 3-3 three, three hasties and just attack everyone. So if those two come together, you could all just die. Just something to keep in mind if I play a Kiki Jiki. Yeah, yeah, yeah that could happen. Take some notes real quick. The other thing <laughs> that might happen is I really wanted to play this. I just completed my set of revised, as some people on Instagram who follow me know. And I wanted to play with Wheel of Fortune. So this says all players must discard their hands and draw seven new cards. Because new cards, I, the way they yeah, phrase cards love back it. in the day. <laughs> mm -hmm. The best. And uh, I, I have a Terror Grid God of Fright in the deck, oh, so boy. it's possible I could make you guys discard your hands and then take control of all the permanents you <sighs> discard. So if Terror Grid's on the field or Kiki is on the field, you guys should kill them mm. before something Good terrible happens. Mm -hmm. And um, those are just... Uh, it, it's a much more fun deck than these make it look. These are just some things that happen to be in here that could abruptly end the game. So Ben, who are you playing as your commander and what's the worst possible thing that you are going to do to us today? So I'm playing Cedri Galvanic Genius as an Esper commander and it's an artifact deck. For one blue I can uh, make a non-creature artifact become an artifact creature with power and toughness equal to its converted mana cost. And for Orzhov, I can make 
and target artifact creature gain death touch and lifelink till end of turn. But really the scariest thing my deck can do is play a Syn Myco Sync Lattice <laughs> and Karn the Great Creator. The Lattice makes all permanence artifacts and it makes every all cards that aren't on the battlefield spells and permanents colorless. And then players may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. But what's great when this is on the field and then I play Karn, activate abilities uh, of artifacts your opponent's control can't be activated with Karn. So if I have this out and Karn out, they can't even tap their lands. We can't tap our lands. Yeah. We just can't use our lands. Uh, you can't use really anything. <laughs> is that legal nice. in Commander? It is. For yeah. now. <laughs> For right now. now. All right, yeah. the gloves are off today. Yeah. I, yeah. All right, so um, that's a tough act to follow, Blake, but who's your commander and what's the worst thing possible that you're going to do to us? First off, this is scary, Shay. We might need to make the Shaniva convention and deal with this. <laughs> I'm not going to draw these, so it's fine. All right, we'll see. <laughs> he won't either. Um, I'm playing Gavi the Nest Warden. As you can see, he's not the most colorful. I did lose my Gavi or was stolen or something, so I'm proxying. Apologies. Uh, this is a Jeskai commander who is basically a cycling deck. So you may pay zero rather than pay the cycling cost of the first card you cycle each turn. And whenever you draw your second card each turn, make a 2-2 two -two white dinosaur cat creature token. I know. Oh, and they're so cute. cute. I know. What? We'll talk. It shouldn't even convention engaged. Uh, the scariest thing I can do, which is a little, a bit, not the best follow-up, but for eight man, I can play Herald of the Forgotten. This is a 6-6 six -six flyer. And when it enters the battlefield, if I cast it, return any number of target permanent cards with cycling abilities from my graveyard to the battlefield. So I'm going to reanimate a whole bunch of nerds. They're going to come on the battlefield, and I'm going to try to kill you guys with them. I learned to hate cycling when Ikoria came out. This seems like a much cuter, softer, fluffier cycling. Um, also, we were at SCG Indy is where you got this commander, and yes. the commander apparently didn't make the trip home. It didn't. Long shot, but if any of you were at SCG Indy and found uh, this particular card, I let me know. Love you forever. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Shay, tell us. Uh, it looks like we have a returning rock star to the show. No. Uh, what's yes. your commander, and what's the worst possible you're going to do to us? Yes, yeah, so I have brought the Stompy Dinosaurs back with Zakama, Primal Calamity, as the commander. Um, so yeah, this is a Naya uh, Dinosaur deck, and um, for Zakama, uh, Vigilance, Reach, and Trample. Um, when Zakama, Primal Calamity enters the battlefield, if you cast it, untap all lands you control. Super cool. And then for two and a red, Zakama deals three damage to target creature. For two and a green, destroy target artifact or enchantment. For two and a white, you gain three life. It really puts a lot of good use to all that mana. You know what I want to see? I want to see you play that when Ben has out that Mycosin mm. lattice and you just blow up everything. That would be something. That I'm just excited great. to see a dinosaur on the battlefield. I know. That's what I'm really hoping, that I can get some dinosaurs out on the field this game. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. But okay. in terms of the worst possible... I believe these are the same um, selections I made last time with Finale of Devastation. It costs X and two green, it's a sorcery. Search your library and or graveyard for a creature card with converted mana cost X or less and put it onto the battlefield. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. If X is 10 or more, creatures you control get plus X plus X and gain haste until end of turn. So yes, if I can do this to maybe grab a Crater Hoof Behemoth, which costs five and three green. Um, it's got haste. When Crater Hoof Behemoth enters the battlefield, creatures you control gain trample and get plus X plus X until end of turn, where X is the number of creatures you control. Yeah, and then you smash all our faces. Yes, and yeah. lots of damage, lots of dinosaurs, hopefully on the field, coming at y'all. So, yeah. Leave my face alone. All right, <laughs> so we got the dinos, we got the cycling and some cats we've got artifacts uh total nonsense in that regard and we've got god knows what the devouring chaos will flip let's dive in let the worst possible nonsense begin okay we've shuffled up let's roll to see who goes first one two three roll them and i got a six four got a no oh. wow we all rolled above three that's yes. amazing <laughs> but okay. there can be only one one east one and best of one all right, we all kept, I'll take a draw. 
And I will now do rampy things that people hate. Perfect. By disc playing Mox Diamond, <gasps> discarding a mountain. And I'll play a swamp. And I will cast Swiftfoot Boots. And I'm done. Wow. Okay. I was really hoping you had the Gemstone Caverns again. <laughs> <laughs> I am so cursed with that Gemstone Caverns. I, I always, if I go first, it, I always have it. <laughs> we'll draw a card. I will play an island, tap that island for a soul ring, tap the soul ring for a glaring spotlight. Uh, creatures your opponents control with, or yeah, with hexproof can be the targets of spells and abilities as though they didn't have hexproof. Dude. And for three and sacrifice glaring sp spotlight, creatures I control gain hexproof until end of turn and are unblockable this turn. My okay. boots. My wow. boots and, just uh, became And I will irrelevant. lose that one floating colorless and pass. All right, no hex proofies. Do you have boots Flooded too? strand, <laughs> sacrifice um, it. In here somewhere, yeah. <laughs> I will get a howled fountain and pay the two life, and then I will pass my turn. Oh, so you're taking it untapped, but not, you know, playing anything? Are you gonna cycle on end step? <laughs> what if I'm holding up a counter spell? Spell pierce, baby. That, that's the thing about on Arena that made me hate cycling. It's not the Zenith flare <laughs> your face. It's not the turn one fox. It's the having to click through everything and they always wait till end step. And then, I, and then on end step, it's finally like, I cycle for one. Oh, that's your <laughs> least favorite thing? Yeah. That's true. <laughs> mm. Now, if you start pausing us on like, hey, hey I pause you on your upkeep, I need to think, then, then we have a problem. the most underwhelming turn compared to all of you. I'll play a forest and pass. I did nothing. That's true. Fatalized I did some fun searched. stuff. Yeah. I did some, I lightning bolted myself. Right. Let's see. I'll play Kerr Keep. This is a legendary land where one in a red, I can tap it to create an 01 red kobold creature token named Kobolds of Kerr Keep. <laughs> and uh, it taps for a colorless and I'm done. On tap. Don't act like you're, you're not you're, impressed. You're popping off. <laughs> Did you want to cycle in response to that? <laughs> I'll pass priority. I'll play an ancient den for a turn, which is an artifact, and it taps for a planes. I'm going to tap one, two, three to play a sculpting steel, and it it enters as a copy of another artifact on the battlefield. I will choose soul ring. Dude. And then I'll tap the Ancient Den and the second copy of Soul Ring to play Search for Glory. And I'm going to search for a legendary card. And if I had snow permanence, I'd gain one life for each one, but I don't. So So you're just searching for a legendary card. Legendary card, yes. Okay, and then, then. Uh, I will go to my graveyard and I will pass the turn. We're going to... Make a blue. God do and the And we're gonna cycle. <laughs> I do reveal the card. So okay. I, re I will reveal Forsaken Monument. Mm. Oh lord. How much does that cost? Five. Five. He, he already okay. has six. <laughs> All right, I see how it is. All right, I will untap. Draw for turn. Ooh, that was a good draw. I will play Valiant Rescuer, one that I'm sure CGB has seen a couple times. This is cards. a 3-1. <laughs> Whenever I cycle another card for the first time each turn, make a 1-1 one, one human soldier creature token. And I'll pass the turn. Mm. Okay. Planes. And tap in 2-4, Kazandu Tusk Caller. So this has the level up to pay one and a green to put a level counter on this. And I can level it up only as a sorcery. Um, level two through five allows me to tap to create a three, three green elephant creature token. And level six plus allows me to tap and create two, three, three green elephant creature tokens. Huh. So at level one, it doesn't, it's like a two mana one, one then, right? Mm -hmm. And if you put more mana into it, it can do more stuff. Okay, right. interesting. It's like a mana sink card, but it doesn't ramp, right? Okay. 
All right, interesting. Yeah, and then I will pass. Okay, I will end step, make a kobold token, and they're all wondering, <laughs> does he have the 01 red kobold token? Does he? Does he? Does he? Does he? Maybe even he is wondering. Maybe he is also He's, This is a journey for CGB. Maybe he doesn't know either. Maybe he just likes the spotlight and hearing the sound of his voice on camera. Maybe he just likes flooding the internet with nonsense. Maybe he's an agent of chaos. Maybe, no, I just have this 01 goat. <laughs> oh, wow. what a letdown. Wah, 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 okay. Draw. <gasps> I didn't anticipate this. Vandal West. <laughs> Get him. <laughs> I wish. Um, I'm going to play a tapped Agadim's Awakening as Agadim the Undercrypt. So it's just a black land. And then, then I'm going to cast a Woe Strider, but there's a problem here. Oh, because the Woe Strider no. makes an 01 goat, and this is a red 01 Cobalt. <laughs> oh. And uh, I got, I got immediately trouble. Punished. Yeah. Immediately, immediately punished. Immediately punished. I didn't know. I didn't think of what I'd do if I drew uh -huh. both of them. Um, I'll have to figure it out. Anyway, for this turn, I'm done. While I go, I'm going to try to solve these 01 problems. <laughs> we'll untap. I will draw. I'm going to play a Temple of Enlightenment tab, because I have to, and I'll try one. I have another goat. <laughs> <laughs> this goat will be the, the goat goat, and this I'll will be the cobalt goat. I'll try that to the bottom. Here, we'll do it like this. It's got a couple of John Finkels over there. There. I've, I've made it like it's an 01 red. I'll tab one. I'll just put this underneath the soul ring so he knows a copy of it, and tap four. So five total, and I will play Forsaken Monument. Dun, dun, dun. Creatures dun, dun, I, dun, dun, colorless dun. creatures I control get plus two, plus two. Whenever I tap a permanent for colorless, I add an additional colorless. Whenever I cast a colorless spell, you I gain two life. So soul rings tap for three now. Yeah, they do, and I have two of them. That's a lot of Your mana. Your turn, Block A. Block A? Block A. It's the, it's the way <laughs> dumb people call me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, rough. I thought it was extra fancy, you know? It's, like, it's from that YouTube video. That's yeah. fine. I'm just kidding. But, <laughs> but in that regard, I'll play a mountain attack you for three. Oh, sad fate. Oh, we will take three. Oh. Oh. Oh, there we go. I see you trying to get out of it. <laughs> yeah. I will pass the turn. Okie dokie. You're not doing anything with your mana, Blake. Are you gonna? Just, I'm flooded. You're gonna instant speed. I like, am flooded. Cycle, cycle, cycle. Now I actually can't do it on my turn every time. Mm. A forest. And we will tap two for a gruel signet. And then I would like to tap one and tap a gruel signet for red and a green floating to level it up. Oh, so you still have to go another level before you can tap for three threes? Yeah. Yep. Aw. Yeah, okay. sad. Uh, and then that will conclude my turn. No okay. attackies. I like that. I like that. Oh, actually, I had something at the end of her turn. Of course you did. At the end of Shay's turn, I will cycle an imposing Vantasaur, trigger Valiant Rescuer, and draw a card. Make a cute, adorable, hard to find human soldier. Does that hit the line for cute and adorable for you? Uh, I don't know. Feel fierce. Uh, I don't know if that's cute and adorable. No. Wait till it's coming at you, Ben. Best, best priority now. Thank you. I'm <laughs> gonna I'm gonna take a turn now. Okay. <laughs> I'll draw. I'll play Hagra Mauling tapped as Hagra Brood Pit as a source of black. I will tap the Mox Diamond for red. And I'll play the Devouring Chaos Roar. So there, I have this uh, <laughs> okay. cool thing that can scry now and uh, do demon stuff. And uh, yeah, it's gonna be great. I gotta go home. That was scary. <laughs> That I don't. For, I that forsaken monument's going to be a problem. Yeah, I I'm going to attack Ben for three. Oh, yeah. ben, Ben's about ben, to get targeted. Ben's stepping out on a out on the ledge here. Early. I don't have a black mana yet. No, so. Okay. Don't worry about it. 
Real quick. All right. At the I end of your turn, oh. CGB. Okay. This we, actually, it actually matters because I, I can only do it once right, per turn, right, guys. Right, yeah, yeah. Leave me alone. <laughs> I'm going to cycle a Chroma's Blessing, draw a card, make a dude. Nice. Y you're done. I'll allow it. <laughs> I'll untap like this, my, yeah, a lot of mana. And I'll draw a card. And I'll play a Seat of the Synod. Sy Synod, whatever. Synod. <laughs> it's you an artifact it. land and it taps for an island. And because I don't have black mana or a draw spell, I can't do anything. Oh. So oh. I'm going to pass. Goodness gracious. Oh, man. On your end step. Okay. Cycle sensor. Gets himself targeted, doesn't even have... <laughs> All of his colors <laughs> ends up doing nothing. Yeah. <laughs> That's so tragic. We'll play a Storm Carved Coast. And then I will play a Dranith Stinger. Whenever I cycle another card, this deals one damage to each opponent. Yippee. Oh. I'll move to combat. <laughs> this is all this stuff of nightmare. I'm having so many arena PTSDs. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. This is fine. Just hopefully you don't die by a Zenith play. <laughs> oh my. I actually uh, made a deal with myself that only Zenith players go in. <laughs> <laughs> Rough. So who are you attacking? I will attack Ben for three. Shay, how big is your uh, friend over there? Uh, it's a 1-1. One -one. And Shay, I will attack you for three with three 1-1s. One -one I will take three. I will also take three. Guys, this deck is jank. What are you doing? Deal with me. Pass turn. <laughs> I mean, I might have to destroy him out of like rage at this point, but I know he's going to play like 10 counter spells even. Because that's the way he plays anyway. <laughs> I take all the tribes and then I cut 10% of the tribes for counter spells. 10%? 20%. Thank you. <laughs> 80. And then another 10% of the tribe for draw. <laughs> CGB just gets me. I do. <laughs> really does. This is how I build tribal oh. decks. <laughs> All right, play a branch loft pathway. And we're going to tap two for rampant growth. Mm-hmm. We're going to tap this. Tap in this for two. I'm gonna go to level two. And now I'm gonna tap and get an elephant. There you go. Oh, Yay. Nice. nice. Elephant machine online. <laughs> exactly. All right. Passing the turn. Just to annoy Dan. <laughs> now I'll hold priority for a second and then pass priority. <laughs> <laughs> Untap. Upkeep. <laughs> Pass priority. Draw. Pass priority. End of draw step. I'll allow it. Beginning of first main phase. <laughs> All right, I'm F6. Okay. <laughs> Until your end of turn. Good. It's about time. All right. Um, what am I doing here? Of course. I'm never F6. What am I doing here? All right. I'm going to pay a black and sacrifice a kobold. And scry two with the Hitsugu Devouring Chaos. That's a very suspicious face that you just made. What yeah. face? Yeah. His <laughs> face That's always so looks There was suspicious. zero face. It's the eyebrows. <laughs> Quite the Among yeah. Us little thing. What? what are you talking about? I don't know what I'm you're talking um, about, yo. I mean, I'm a suspect in that. I do that all the time. That was a good draw. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Uh, oh man, this, this this is spicy. This is spicy. Okay, we're gonna put them back in this order. Um, all right, let's go for black, black, black for necropotence. Oh, okay. and uh, this lets me skip my draw step. And um, if I discard, I have to exile it, but I can pay one life to set aside the top card of my library. And on end step, I get them. So. Um, yeah, does that? I mean, you're F6 until my the end of my turn is what you said. <laughs> I'd like to cancel all yields and. Uh... You're really gonna wish you had that for my next card. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 
It's too late now. It's too late now. <laughs> Counter my necropotence. Counter your necropotence. Oh, God. You're disgusting. Return target enchantment. <laughs> Who's the guy the playing necropotence? <laughs> so I will, you know, despite my anger and rage that I'm feeling, I will just move the swift foot boots onto my commander. That doesn't really do anything right now. Yeah. And that's okay. Because that's going to go away someday, maybe. And I'm done. Okay. I will not untap anything, because I don't need to. I will draw a card. Okay, well, technically, I have black mana now. Well, not yet, but you will see why. I'll tap a soul ring for three. Play an arcane signet. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. I'll tap... Two life from your monument. Yes. You are correct. I appreciate it. Um, I'll tap this for a blue, this for a white, and this for a black. And cast my commander. Woohoo! 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 Still have a floating call it with. Tap a blue. And make the Forsaken Monument an artifact creature. A five five artifact. So end creature? the turn, yes. And I will also tap another blue to make the Sculpting Steel an artifact creature until end of turn. In my first main still, I will play a Nimbus Maze as my land for turn, which is taps for a colorless, or I can tap it for a planes if I control an island, or an island if I control a planes. Huh. Then I'll go to combat, I guess turning the the sculpting steel into a creature was kind of pointless. <laughs> You're not going to tackle that one one? No. <laughs> Come on. But I'm going to swing Blake for five. I will take five. I'll end my turn. These become non-creatures now. All right. I will untap. I will do the upkeep thing and draw. Oh, 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 hold up. I might sacrifice this goat. Yeah, you let me know. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. Go on. <laughs> Play Glacier Fortress. Resolves. Perfect. <laughs> Tap three for a Spirit Cairn. This is an enchantment. Whenever a player discards a card from his or her hand, I may pay one white mana. If I do, I make a 1-1 one, one flyer. A player? Whenever a player discards okay. a card. All right. So that does work with my Cycles. Yep. I will then move to combat. We cannot let this. We cannot let this be. I will attack. All six damage going at you, Ben. Is there just one one? Three one ones and a three one. CGB, do you have anything really you have priority? Yeah, I'm thinking about scrying, yeah, but I'm not time. going to. Okay. Okay. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. I respect priority. I'll actually block the three one. I will respond. I will cycle Curator of Mysteries, draw a card, make a 1-1 one, one Human Soldier, and I will pay one to make a 1-1 one, one Fly Spirit. Fly I have cool spirit tokens. Okay, bye. Oh. And now I get to use a die. And everybody this. takes um, one damage off Drana's Stinger. Use this amazing Commander Mm-hmm. Great. I'll get you, don't worry. And oh, then, thanks. did you take your three oh, dudes? No. Pass turn to shape. Okay. Tapping three uh, for Realm Walker. It's a shapeshifter as Changeling. As Realm Walker enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. I'm gonna choose Dinosaur. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of your library. So we're going to take a peek. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> may or may not be a dinosaur, but probably isn't a three yeah. mana dinosaur. <laughs> not likely. <laughs> <laughs> then we will tap three, four. Death Gorge Scavenger. Whenever Death Gorge Scavenger enters the battlefield or attacks, you may exile target card from a graveyard. If a creature card is exiled this way, you gain two life. If a non-creature card is exiled this way, 
Death Guard Scavenger gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Don't leave that one on top. <sighs> we are going to go for the imposing Vantasaur. Ooh. So it was a creature card, so I'll gain two life. Cool. Then I would also like to tap this for another elephant. I might get some attacks my way, so I'm going to hold off for now. I'll pass the turn. Okay. Let's see. On the end step, I'm just going to sacrifice my goat to scry my top card to the bottom. I remember what it was, but I want it out of there. And with my priority, I will pass priority. You're tapped out. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, draw for turn. I will sacrifice my Woe Strider to Devouring Chaos to Scry 2. <laughs> I know I make big faces when I play this deck, but it's like I can't help it. The cards are so crazy, but I can't do those. So they go to the bottom. I will tap a black and I'll sacrifice Devouring Chaos to itself to Scry 2. Oh, no. I mean, I, I, demons are even, are, demons bite their own arms off. It's, it's, it's a lot worse, right? <laughs> That's true. <laughs> all right, red mana, blasphemous act, 13 damage to all creatures. <laughs> I don't have any. <laughs> I don't know if that's something I should be proud of. <laughs> yeah, let's go, buddy. I don't have any Way either. to play around it, dude. Way to play around it. Was that the spell you were talking about? Maybe. That's all right. It's a spell I talk about. Here are your elephants for your token pile. You're like, thanks a lot, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll cast Lightning Grooves with nothing, and it's your turn. All the hex proof. The sh hey, this is Shroud. That tr actually, yeah, it is you're different. Right. You're right. Yeah. We'll untap all my stuff. I will hopefully draw a swamp. Nope. Oh. I'll play a plains, so now my Nimbus Maze can tap for a island. So much mana, nothing to do. I know. I'll tap one and one of my soul rings for four and play a trading post. I can. <laughs> Wait, what? One what of all, my favorite that does cards. so many things. I love that card. Uh, one in a tap and, and discard a card, gain four life. One in a tap and pay one life, make a z O one white goat creature token. Oh, I got that. Yeah. I I'm got ready him for too. you. I got him too. I'm ready for you. <laughs> one in a tap and a sack a creature, return target artifact from your graveyard to your hand. Or one tap, sacrifice an artifact, draw a card. Oh boy. Gain they two all life. Feed each other. Yes, gain two life from the Forsaken Monument. I will tap the Arcane for a Swamp, tap the Nimbus Maze for a two, or two colorless. <laughs> I'll tap the Island and the Plains for a total of Esper and two, and play my Commander again. Bum, bum, bum. Welcome back. Bum. Is the Forsaken Monument going to punch somebody again? Possibly. Most likely, yeah. How about the trading post? It probably wants to punch. Trading post too. has to punch uh, somebody. So, dude, I mean, I have nothing to else to things. do. So, <laughs> well. I think you sacrifice the damage just to punch somebody with a trading post. I can post. only turn one and. That's what two. I'm saying. One, no. so. I think you power you you power move it and hit somebody with a trading post. No, no, don't no. listen to him. You got other uses for the trading post. I'll tap a blue That's and true. make the Forsaken Monument a creature. You've changed. Oh, and it. You're it just is, jealous. You just wish it was your turn. I love time. that card. What's that? It's actually seven last time because colorless creatures get two cheap. I'll pick two more. Mm -hmm. I apologize. We totally caught YouTube that. YouTube comments. <laughs> so it's a seven seven right now. <laughs> the soul ring was a three three? <laughs> yeah, it was. True. It was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, people are just oh, screaming. No, CGB, how could you do this? Look, it's all part of the mind game. Yes. I'll swing seven at CGB. What? What did I do? <laughs> Had more life. You helped me, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I worked hard for that life total. And I will pass, and this will become a non-creature now. All right. 
I really was trying to necro away my life total. Won't let me do that. Now I get hit for having a high life total. Like, you guys are just going to kill me no matter what. Hey, I, w I was in favor of ne the necropotence. Just so you know. In favor of... Oh, what's that? Blake is making a face. I can't tell. What? I drew a <laughs> land. <laughs> I'm going to sacrifice a fabled passage. I was just about to say, I feel like we're all not drawing enough cards. I, I, I agree with that. Yeah, Let's I would fix agree it, too. shall we? Yeah. To Fairy's Angel's Insight. No, which combines no that that's not, that doesn't fix it for everybody. That's, no. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I know. It fixes it for me, though. Jeez. Uh, so every time I cycle, I'll draw two instead of one, which I've been told is a good combination. And I will pass the turn if to Shay. Anybody can kill that. You deal. should, 100%. <laughs> All right, draw for turn. Planes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For a Verdant Sun's Avatar. Um, so whenever Verdant Sun's Avatar or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. So I will gain five life. And I've tapped out, so I'll pass the turn. All right. I wish I could pass it some haste and go <laughs> smash somebody. Oh. Mirrored Landscape tapped. Man, you're playing all the tap lands this game, CGB. All right. Uh, I'll play Zealous Conscripts. 3-3, three, three, haste. When it enters the battlefield, gain control of target permanent until end of turn. Untap that permanent, gains haste until end of turn. Does it resolve? Yep. Uh, gain the Verdant Sun's avatar. Attack Blake. Eight. Eight. No blocks. All right. I'll Greaves up the conscript so it has Shroud in the future, and you can have that back. And I'm done. All right. All right, so at your end step, I will tap one and tap the trading post to make a goat. Go, go, go. Go. And then I'll untap on my turn. Oh, and I lose a life from that as well. I'll draw for turn. I'll tap my Sculpting Steel to play a Mirage Mirror. Ooh. Can become a, for two, it can become a copy of target, artifact, creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. Uh, don't forget something. your life. I will gain two from that. I will pay... Two with the colorless, because it taps for two from Forsaken Monument for the, with the Nimbus Maze, and make Mirage Mirror become a copy of the Arcane Signet. I will tap the Arcane Signet and the Mirage Mirror for two black, and I'll tap... The amount of work you had to do to get two black... I know, right? ...is insane. And then I'll tap my other Soul Ring floating one colorless because of Forsaken Monument, and I'll Cast Mastermind's Acquisition, searching my library for a card and then shuffling. Seems good. Look at this one. The oh, whoops! I put those back. I do not reveal it though. Oh, that's cool. It's a secret. It's a, a secret. secret. I bet we're secret a card. Card about ah. But we're all gonna find out what it is any second now. Uh, or next turn. I don't know if I have enough for it. One, two, three, four. That's I have one floating still, right? You do have one floating. You do. What's going on there, man? I have one floating. It's pretty cool. I don't think cool. I can. Okay. Until cool. seven drops. So. One, two, what? three, four, four five, five, six. six. Yeah. Darn. Darn. There's no sneaky trading post shenanigans. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, unfortunately. Use a floating. I don't know. Okay. Just sack one of your artifacts. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm going to tap this to sack an artifact. It'll be the skull. And I'll draw a card. And then I'll play Spellbook. <laughs> there you go. There, okay. no max ancestors. <laughs> Do you have to discard the ancestors at the end of the turn? I might. Okay, <laughs> just let me know. Jeez, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't attack it, did I? No, sir. Okay. I'll tap. Three blue, why not? I'll make all three of these artifact creatures till end of turn. Uh huh. So that's a 2-2, two, two, a 7-7, seven, seven, and a 3-3. Three, three. And I'll swing 5 at Blake and 7 at Shay. Keep it a little even-ish. I like that. 
Uh, no blocks. No blocks. Okay. And that's the end of my turn. End of your turn. Oh, I gained two oh. health off of this. That of is true. You Nicely do. done. Yeah, okay. I remembered. Whoa. <laughs> I will pay two to cycle an angel song, which would have prevented all combat damage this turn, to draw two cards. Well, I didn't swing out at you, then. <laughs> I'll pass my turn. Incredibly suspicious. <laughs> just a little bit. I just have to not die. I got nerds trying to kill me all over the place. First things first, we're going to Terramorphic Expanse. Sacrifice, search for a basic land, put it onto the battlefield tapped, and then shuffle. Come on, Don't one more land. land. One more land, and we could see Zakama for the first time. Oh, <laughs> that'd be spooky. <laughs> He's got a lot of artifacts to kill. Oh, uh, God. I was yeah. thinking enchantment. Myself. <laughs> yeah, I know. Everybody, everybody has an appreciation for what Sakama can do, but it's usually the, it's usually the, it's not our choice. No, <laughs> yeah, it's not. True, true. It's that not is Shay's choice. choice. I can think of Did all kinds Shay? of things. As I'm Akama glad we're on the same do. side of the table because we're friends. <laughs> She'll grab a mountain. Another one. Another one, just to be safe, you know. Another one. Okay. Tap here. Tap the signet for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. For green sun's zenith, zenith. Um, search your library for a green creature card with converted mana cost X, which I paid five for X or less. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle your library, and then shuffle green sun's zenith into its owner's library. So I grabbed. Quartzwood Crasher. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Um, it's got Trample. Whenever one or more creatures you control with Trample deal combat damage to a player, create an XX green dinosaur beast creature token with Trample, where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt to that player. Yes. And um, that does trigger my Verdant Sun's Avatar, so I will gain six life. Yep. Okay. Six. We'll hold off for now, and I'll pass the turn. Huh, okay. All right, all right. I will untap, draw. Ready for the blocks. I'll play a Reliquary Tower. Man, yeah, short of doing anything cool. Uh, I'm done. I will untap, draw a card. Hey guys, look at that. We got a swamp. <gasps> he did Whoa. it! Oh, that's a pretty one too. <laughs> it is. Double masters, full art, non-foil. Just mm. nice to know you. Yeah. I just feel like <laughs> <laughs> Well, I may as well play the artifact I searched for, huh? I'll tap mm. three. Oh, this taps for two colorless. So, uh, six. Yeah, six, sorry. <laughs> and seven. I'm gonna play a chromatic orrery. Okay. Uh, sp uh, you may spend mana as though it were mana of any color. I can tap it for five, and for five and a tap, I can draw a card for each color um, or color among permanents I control. So two life. Two life, yes. And that actually taps for six because of forsaken monument. All right. I'll go to combat. I'll just. A one, two, three, four. Oh yeah, I can get blue from any land now. Yep. yep. Four. I'll do. Yeah. Let's do four for now. I'll make this a creature. This a creature. Um. It's still summoning sick, right? Right. Is that because I did that with Spellbook last year, and I was wondering if. Oh yeah. Did you, what did you do? Did you with attack with Spellbook? I attacked with Spellbook. Oh, you did for attack two. me for two. Yeah. Or I, yeah, I attacked you for I'll two. I'll take my two life back. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I can't do that. That's not a thing. I mean, it's still, you can animate it, but it's summoning sick. Yeah, it's just right. Okay, so yeah, I won't do that with those two. I'll do it with Forsaken Monument. I'll do it with Trading Post. And I'll do it with these two as well. Got a lot of power and toughness. Well, I, yeah. You could turn that Mirage Mirror into an Ori, and then it's a seven, right? 
Yes. You're right. Ooh. But you would animate two less things to do with. He doesn't, now you can tap the Ori for the mana. Ooh. Okay, I'm, we'll see, we'll I'm see. I'm gonna just do those four. Okay, okay. And then I will. Who's gonna die? Go to attack. Well, I guess that's where I'm at. <laughs> okay, I am going to swing the Forsaken Monument as seven at Shea, and then five, nine, 15 at Blake. Interesting. 15. Is that 19? <laughs> it's like you like to do a lot of damage, but don't like killing. <laughs> <laughs> no blocks for me. All right, wait. Before, oh. right, just okay. let's see what Blake says first, because I might do stuff. That's oh. true. Depending. That's true. He's got to have something. I will cycle a countervailing winds. Um, and I will pay one for the pleasure to make a 1-1 one, one spirit. Draw two cards. Well, that locates a blocker. I will then cycle a Splendor Mare, putting a lifelink counter on this, and I will not pay. Draw two. Okay, and then how big is everything here? Uh, uh, six. Four and five. Okay, I will block the four. The five could turn into a bigger, but you probably know that. Yep. Sorry. No, you're good. And then I will pay two mana to cast Startling of Development, targeting that, so it'll become a four-four with Life Link now. It'll be a little serpy serpent. Uh, that being the Spirit Token. Yes, the Spirit okay. Token. Yep. Crafty. Indeed. Are those all the blocks from everyone. That's all the blocks. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the chromatic ori, I'll tap it for f six floating because of the Forsaken Monument. I'll give the Forsaken Monument Death Touch and Life Link, and also I'll turn the Mirage Mirror into chromatic ori. Or can it become an artifact? Any permanent yeah. on the battlefield. Yep. Yep. Is the ori legendary though? It is, so no, I'm not mm. going to do that. Not going to do that. <laughs> right, right, right. Interesting. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll let I'll you do give... a little takesies backsies. Yeah, sorry about that. I'll do... See, I, I was almost hoping, got him. Dude, I was hoping. Yeah. I wasn't going to call I was going to call him on it the real yeah. way. Yeah. I'll make... I'll give these two Death Touch and Lifelink as well. So I'll just lose the Arcane Center. Okay. And you'll keep your spirit. And I will take 11, but gain 4, so take 7. No. And Shay declared no blacks, mm -hmm. so she will take 7. And I will gain uh, 18. Seems good. <laughs> Goodbye, Oogie Boogie. Wait, who? It's the Oogie Boogie Man. <laughs> the Oogie Boogie Man? Yeah, from and Nightmare Before Christmas. It's like the best Disney movie. Oh, you mean you mean the uh, This Is Mo the, the Mono Red song. That's where that comes from. This is Mono Red. <laughs> yes. They stole that from me, you know? Oh. Disney. Yeah, they, they did, yeah, yeah. Raw deal. I watched, I watched that movie last year. Can't believe they took oh. the Mono Red song from me. I'm calling Tim Burton. I'm letting him know. <laughs> Let him have it. And then at the end of my turn, all my artifacts will just be artifacts. Can you chill with the aggression, my man? I don't know. I, th I think Ben's earned some aggression on That's the show. That's fair, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I will untap. I'm kind of like, he's ignored me for two turns. Like, yeah. Ben's cool in my book. <laughs> Ben's cool in my book, but he'd be cooler if he left me alone. Play a Sheevan Reef. A throwback from old Amonkhet standard from when I played. I will play Abandoned Sarcophagus. You may cast non-land cards with cycling from your graveyard. If a card with cycling would be put into your graveyard from anywhere and it wasn't cycled, exile it instead. Great. So how many playable cards are in your graveyard and what are they? Too well, I've got a Startling Development, I've got a Splendor Mare, I've got a Countervailing Winds, an Angel Song, a Dranit Stigger, a Valiant Rescuer, Curator Mysteries, Sensor, a Chroma's Blessing, and Mage's Guile. Lit. But not your uh, Vanquisher, or Vantasaur, whatever it's called. Yeah, that's right. That got yeah. exiled. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On that just disappointing face. note, <laughs> I will pass the turn. Okay. Well, 
like how I have no maximum hand size, but I have no cards in my hand. Ain't that the, <laughs> ain't that the truth? Yeah, yeah, isn't that funny. how that goes? That is sad. Look yeah. at my no max hand size. They could be <laughs> any size. They could get bigger and bigger. But yeah, at least you got one. Right? I got one. Yeah. You want to know what it is? A land, probably. It's not a land. Oh, the worst? <laughs> it's not the worst. It's not a necromodens, that's for sure. <laughs> Raging Regisaur. It, it's a 4-4. Four, four. Whenever Raging Regisaur attacks, it deals That's one damage to any target. Pretty cool. That was Pretty a good cool. roar. Pretty cool. Moving to combat. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Verdant Sun's Avatar oh, triggers. Yeah. And so I'll gain four. Now moving to combat. Cool. Who's gonna get it? Who's getting the Quartzwood Crasher treatment? I wonder. Yeah. That thing. While you while you do that, I'm just gonna crack yeah. this mirrored landscape and go yeah. fetch. I instead of sitting here too long. Yeah, when it comes to me, whatever you see is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm gonna swing at you with my Quartzwood Crasher. It's a six-six trample. I got two mountains. I'll take six. You're going to have your 6-6 six, six token. Yes. I get a token. Yes. Thank you. Yep, yep. You're making dinosaur beats. I'm making dinosaur cats. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. You haven't gotten fun. any yet. No, I've been having to deal with some aggression. <laughs> Hard Bummer, to take the turn dude. off. That's all right. I'm used to it. <laughs> mm. Is this a creature entering the battlefield? Yeah, it is. It is, yes. I can gain six life. Oh, jeez, that's not good, guy. <laughs> it's a uh, card, card does work. Mm -hmm. Card does work. Definitely. Pass of the turn. I will also make a token. This one is an 01 red cobalt. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. Nice. All right, untap, draw. Ben. What's up? We've been friends. Yeah. A very long time. Sure. So I... <laughs> I don't know what that means. But <laughs> a very, very, very long time. Uh -huh. You and I, for the last two turns, have had no problem with each other. True. Mm. None at all. So I'm going to make a play, and I want you to remember this. Okay. I'm not going to try to guilt you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to offer you a deal. I'm just going to tap this Mox Diamond for one red. I'm going to cast Vandal Blast on Abandoned Sarcophagus. Nice. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> for not overloading that. Because <laughs> I could... destroyed two of my lands, too. <laughs> yeah, I could be trying to destroy all artifacts. I just want one. I just want one. Well, yeah, that would have destroyed me. You have seven mana float untapped? I, I have seven untapped. I will cast Countervailing Winds from my graveyard. Counter it unless you pay like 50, 12 mana. Oh no, I don't have that. Dum bum bum. Can't I'm say I'm not trying. I'm holding for dear life over here, guys. Can't say <laughs> I'm not trying. Ben's over here with like 30 power and toughness and I'm just getting <laughs> smacked around. Feels bad, man. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna try to escape Woe Strider. I'll leave this Necropotence in the graveyard because I will never forget. <laughs> and uh, I will ca uh, try to cast this as a 5 4 make a goat. Make a goat. Uh, yeah, I like the way you said that. Mm. Make a goat. It's a 5 4 make a goat. <laughs> Wait, this one's a cobalt. Okay. I'd this, like to defend I'm really that. mad about the <laughs> having to differentiate these things, <laughs> to be honest. It's like kind of tilting. All right. Did I hand out my goat? Where'd my goat go? Where's the goat? Oh, I have it. Sorry. <laughs> oh! I, here, I have my own goat. Oh, there's the goat. Okay, I'm gonna, just going to use this devil. No, I have my own goat. Here. <laughs> you can have your shiny goat Where's the goat? goat <laughs> yeah, it's it's my T-Rex got right. the goat. The T-Rex got the goat. Oh, no. <laughs> um, I'll move... Some dials in my other deck. Swift foot boots <laughs> to the Woe Strider. I wonder if I'm supposed to, like, shroud the Woe Strider. I don't know. Hmm. Probably. Probably. All right. Uh, attack Blake. 
five, six, seven, eight. Fair enough. Then I'm done. Okay. I will untap my stuffs. Bleh, artifact soup. Yeah. I will draw my one card in my hand. Oh boy, that helps me out. Kind of, not really. <laughs> I'll tap. Got us, dude. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'll tap three with the soul ring and my island. And I'll play a Jor Jorah's Familiar. My artifact spells cost one less to cast. Oh, that is a colorless spell, and I will gain two life. Mm -hmm. I have one, two, three, four, five to turn five of my artifacts into creatures. It says something like that. I will turn the Forsaken Monument into one, the Mirage Mirror, the Spell Book. I'll just do four, actually. Um, and the Glaring Spotlight. <laughs> okay. Yeah, whatever. I'll do the trick post as well. Okay. <laughs> all okay. right. Changing my mind. Yeah. Yeah. He's, all, right. all right. So these five. Artifact aggro coming in. Yeah. Artifact oh, aggro. No. Yeah. All right. Um, Be nice. I'm going to declare attackers. Dude, this, this is sick, actually. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. This is dope. I like this a lot. Rise of the Machines. Yeah, for real. Skynet oh Sky Sky has Sky become self aware. Oh, no. Not again. <laughs> You know Judgment Day on August 29, 1997 is going to feel really fucking real to you, too. <laughs> Everybody not wearing one million proof sunblock is going to have a really bad day. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've seen that movie. That was great. You quoted it with such enthusiasm. Yeah, that was like, amazing. <laughs> I'm actually, before I declare it, yeah, we're still what there. Is we are still what is there, happening? bro. What's, 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 what's going on? I'm gonna tab this for six. Uh huh. I'm gonna sacrifice your glaring spotlight <gasps> to make him unblockable and hexproof. Seems good. So I still okay. have three floating. Oh no, who's gonna die? Um, with if the three floating, I'm gonna make the Forsaken Monument Death Touch and Life Link. Uh huh. So I still have one floating. I'm gonna tap a planes to also make the trading post death touch and lifeline. Uh huh. Okay, now I'm declaring. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. We got there. We got two, there. These two are death touch and lifeline, and they're all unblockable and hexproof. And I will swing these two at Shay. The biggest ones. The biggest ones. Well, if you attack me for lethal, I will have to make That's no true. combat damage. Okay. So attack attacking me here is probably not these ideal. These three doing. at Shay and this one at Blake. And that's a two-two. That is a two-two, and Shay is taking <laughs> seven, two -two? 12, 20. Or no, sorry, seventeen. Jeez. Yeah, I got nothing. Uh, no blocks. No, it was eighteen actually. Sorry. I, I have an astrophysics degree. Don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 Don't worry, I'm a limo driver. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh man, just clowning on my poor bachelors, dude. So two are, one of the, my three are unblockable that you're attacking. With? They're all unblockable. They're all unblockable. Oh, all of them are unblockable. Yeah. Yep. So you're taking eighteen. Okay. I'm yep. like taking two, and I'm gaining seven, thirteen. I'm like doing cool stuff, but permanently at the mercy of everybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> I will end my turn. Okay. At the end of your turn, I will cycle Frostfail Ambush, paying one to make a spirit and draw two cards. I want to see how he stays alive. Yeah, I do too, He's still actually. got a fog, but I don't know. Yeah. Nobody has... Oh, the Raging Regisaur oh. can do one damage to anything. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Hmm. And that's not combat, is it? No. no. Fog no. don't work on that. No. But yeah, let's see what he can do. I have to just pass my turn. I have to keep all the mana alive to uh, keep myself alive. <laughs> Classic. 
I definitely Don't forget to hold priority. I will. <laughs> Put on all the stuff. I'm putting on, yeah, full control. Full control mode activated. Wow, okay. On your upkeep. Okay, you're good. <laughs> Doesn't that just turn. make you mad? Doesn't that just make you want to drop <laughs> him? No. It's my turn. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. I don't like that. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> Oh, she's Whoa, really happy now. Hold on to your butts. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's not Sakawa. I was thinking it, it might be Crater Hoof. It's not Crater Hoof. Okay, I'm interested now. This is a two mana drop. And it, what? That made her eyes do that? Yeah. What is this? Yeah, the uh, reflection. Uh, oh. Gattic oh. T. What? Oh, I don't. I haven't uh, played against this card in years. So non-creature spells with converted mana cost four or greater can't be cast. What? Non-creature spells with X and their mana costs can't be cast. Non-creature spells four or greater can be cast? Yeah. Yep. Okay. What? One of no. the least fun cards in Commander. <laughs> yeah. Heard no. that, okay. Oh, and X oh doesn't God. Uh, yeah, um, uh, I, I pass priority. Yeah, I, I have no response. I weep. I pass weep. priority. <laughs> Okay, move into combat. Mm. Mm. Verdant Sun's avatar, trigger, oh, yeah. gain two life. Clever girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ready for the, yeah, the Jurassic Park uh, uh, jokes round two. He endorses your park this time. Yes. <laughs> We're gonna see. <laughs> so, declaring attacks. Quartzwood Crasher and Raging Regisaur are going to go to CGB. And uh, my six Trampler Beast is going to go to Ben. What's uh, one damage from the Raptor going? Blake. Blake's face. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. Okay. So. Sharing the love. So this would be six. 10 total, six of it trample. And then six to be. Uh, Cobalt in front of Raging Regisaur because it doesn't have trample and no blocks on the 6-6. Six, six. Okay. I'll do no blocks as well. Okay. So I get. So before damage, I'm going to sacrifice the Cobalt to a Woe Strider just to get a little scrying action. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I like my top card. I despise my top oh, card. Oh, no. It's terrible. <laughs> it's a disgusting excuse for a top card. It goes to the bottom. Well, now I'm really curious. <laughs> it's actually a sweet card. It's just not good right now. Oh, okay. And then if I could have other two more dinosaur beast tokens over there. I, I believe it makes one token. Yeah, it doesn't really. So it's, how, how does it read? Uh, whenever one or more creatures you control with trample deal combat damage to a player, create an XX green dinosaur beast creature token with trample. Oh, where X is the amount of damage those creatures dealt oh, to that creatures. player. To that player, yeah. So I think that part yeah. oh. makes it so that okay. I get two. So in, instead of one 12 12, I think she gets two six sixes. Yeah, okay. All right. I only have one Got more. It. And then yeah, I will gain on. 12 life from Verdant Sun's avatar. Yeah, right. yeah. not bad. Oh, man. Eight, nine, deal 10, 11, 12. I feel like you two just keep bouncing yeah. like yeah. crazy amounts of damage off, off each, each other. other truly. Yeah. Yeah. The life yep. Okay, and with that, I will pass the turn. Blake, do you have any way to get rid of the Gaddock Teague? Mm. I know we've had our differences. I don't know if we'd help you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm Although, down to help you. I don't but think anyone likes I want to die the hero. I mean, if I could cast a large spell, I don't know how you're going to get out of your thing, and I don't know how I'm going to get out of my thing. They both have significantly better <laughs> boards, but if I can cast a large spell, we Do both Do you want me to go chance. looking for a way? I mean... Will you be polite to me? It's up to you at this point, because I have no right to ask you for anything. Yeah, but you do not. We're kind of... Go we're going to die. <laughs> it's going to be bloody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you take your 10 damage? No, I was just not going to. Oh, smart. Okay. Way to play around damage. Uh, actually, I chump blocked one, so it's it was six, right? Yes, okay. you're right. <laughs> All right, I will cycle lonely sandbar, paying one to make a spirit. Still her end step, to be clear. Yes. Okay. Yep. I will then cycle 
This hurts my soul. You better appreciate me cycling a hieroglyphic illumination. I, I would. In making a spirit. I would I definitely do that in this spot. That's I know, but I'm giving up on drawing more cards. Man, it's no fate. Yeah. We're going looking, I guess. Y'all better not attack me. We're going to have some problems. Yeah, I didn't agree to anything. <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, I think you need a way to still protect yourself. Because I might be able to clear the board, but he can replay his commander and animate an artifact. Oh, I still have the way in my yard to yeah, protect Yeah, so this. don't, don't leave. Like, you might need to survive him even if you get us out of the dino situation. I will cycle my boy Yadaro. Oh, okay. Monster. Sag. So... This is really, this is interesting. This is an 8-8 Trample Haste. When you cycle it, shuffle it into your library from, from your graveyard. If you've cycled a card named Yadara Wandering Monster four more times this game, put it on the battlefield instead. Uh, Yadara <laughs> Storm counts at one. one. Yeah. yeah, all you have to do is draw it with every cycle and you'll be fine. Let's do it. <laughs> Alas. All right, my turn. I tried. <laughs> okay, can I go now? Yeah, you're good. <laughs> okay. You wanted this. <laughs> Don't do this. I'll draw. I hate Caddick. Caddick freaking tea, yeah. baby. He looks so grumpy. Trey, if you're going to turn like into a stacks feel. player, we're going to have to find a new person for the show. <laughs> I'm not dealing with stacks. <laughs> hey, we're both control mages. We can't be too picky. That's true. Yeah. Where are we going to find someone to play with us? Let's be real. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of money. Um, I guess I'm done. Man. Yeah, I got nothing. We got him locked down. <laughs> if I can make it to my turn, then I can deal with... Something? Get a Teague. We'll see. I mean, I guess you've got the fog, so as long as he can't ping you... Well, Let's I have a question for Shay. If I don't attack you this turn, will you ping Blake when you swing with your other creature at whoever? Mm. It's a tempting offer. Isn't it? Blake, do you have anything to say about this? Oh, <laughs> interesting. <laughs> interesting. People be politic and. Yeah. I, I, I think they're... I'd rather die the hero than uh, make a deal with the devil, so no. Hmm. Categorizing dinosaurs as the devil. I categorize Gattatique <laughs> as the devil. Ah, that's <laughs> fine. No, nah, I, I mean, this. Let, let's be honest. Everybody here is on into the robots versus dinos oh, dynamic. Oh, yeah. Classic. They it's team up. It's, it's, kind of it's kind of terrifying because that's basically True. Autobots. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'd watch, that watch movie. Play Magic. It'd be great. Uh, yes, I will. I will agree to that. Okay, sweet. I'll take out the Soul Ring to play a Dark Steel Ingot, which is the Mana Rock that's indestructible, which is neat. Two life. Two life, yes. Thank you. I have so much, I just don't forget. You, know? you, want, you want to share? <laughs> this doesn't mean we can't be friends. I, the, well, remember I the Vandal Blast? <laughs> <laughs> I take you out sometimes. I'm like the least what? <laughs> I'm like the least threatening. I agreed. Thing. This if is the Shay least threatening. Blake, I've I wouldn't attack her though. That leaves you. This is, I'm, this is the least threatening <laughs> I've ever been in Magic. I, I'm I'm threatening well, an O one at instant them down. speed. <laughs> <laughs> Get him, dude. What can I say to that? What can I say to that? This is oh, that big. cost one less, so I technically have one floating from Joy Rose Familiar. So I have, I'll use the floating and three more. So four. I'll turn this into an artifact. An artifact creature. Artifact creature, yes. That's what I mean. Okay. This is an artifact creature, and I'll use the other two to make that a trading post. So it's bigger. One, okay. One more bigger, I guess. I'll tap one more, actually, to make the actual trading post. <laughs> creature as well. I did of course. Going on. Of course. <laughs> okay, that's all the ones I'll turn into creatures, and then I'll swing one, two, three. I need mean, have four. Whatever. I got some babies. I got some all little some little nerds. CGB. Oh no. Seven, thirteen, then 
25 total. Oh wow, that's close. <laughs> 25. I will make a cobalt. Oh yeah. Nice. Yeah. And the joy is familiar is flying, by the way. Noted. Okay. I will use the O1 to block. They don't have trample, right? No trample. Okay. So uh, the biggest thing on the ground is and the seven, seven. monument. So yep. I'll block that with a goat. I'll block the trading post, one of the trading posts. Sure. Uh, with the cobalt. Right. And is it considered bullying if the two biggest players at the table team up to kill the other, <laughs> the two smaller it people? It sure is. Is that bullying? I think it, it sure feels is. like surely bullying. <laughs> it sure is. Um, like you you, you want to um, make this 2v2? You want to make this 1v1? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm I'm changed. going to block the so trading. Nice. I'm going to block the Mirage Mirror, and I'm going to block the Forsaken Monument, and I'm going to take ten. But before the damage goes through, I'm going to sacrifice the Goat and the Cobalt to scry with my Woe Strider. Okay. CGB through happenstance, we have found ourselves in an unlikely alliance. <laughs> Together, <laughs> with your Necropotence in the graveyard, we can potentially come back. <laughs> How did you put it? Would I rather die the hero? <laughs> I would rather die the hero. That's why I didn't make a deal with these, um, these nerds. I'm going to scry bottom and sack again and scry probably bottom. Bottom I as well. I have a way to allow you to cast your big spell on your turn. Oh, yeah? Yep. On his turn. Well, we'll see if that happens. Just so you know. Okay, okay. I mean, is I'm it going to help me best. or is I'm. <laughs> I mean, it's a shock. It just kills me. It's a play I can make. I don't think you'll love it, but it might help us both live. Well, that's what matters. Like, okay. Um, most most people lose a bit of their board in the process when that's these okay. things happen. I'm done. Or I have to take the damage. Ten. I'm down to sixteen. I'm a, okay, Ben. Uh, have you satiated your lust for blood? No. You done taking candy from people who are I'm winning? Gonna... Now, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will pass. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I don't Dude, even when know. When did we become the least evil people on this show? Uh, I think I think it's a good progression, if I'm being honest. That's fair. I played blue last week, and now I'm evil. I'll move to combat. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? What are you gonna do with three power there, Blake? I'm gonna send two of it at you and one of it at Shay. What? They're flying, right? Mm-hmm. So no, no chance of uh, blocks. Not that you know of. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. So that not that I know of either. I'm so damage. Take two. Oh yeah. I'll take what do you guys think is following up <laughs> me attacking? <laughs> A Chroma's vengeance. Destroy all artifacts, creatures, and enchantments. All. Uh, but um. <gasps> I want that. I want that to happen, Blake. But there's a Gaddic Teague. You can't. You can't do that, Blake. <laughs> but but oh, okay. You really want that to happen? Kinda, don't you? I I, I do. Um. And I'm gonna say I, the evil oh words man. of work with me here, CGB. Has it come to this? Has it come to this? Do we have to work together? All right. I. <laughs> Allow me to say it. Peace in our time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to success. I'm going to cycle decree of pain. All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn, and I draw a card. Success. <laughs> Let's go. That, that should kill the Gaddic Teague, unless you have a way to save it. You got some shenanigans over there. Oh, I like Shane it. Shenanigans. <laughs> I like that too. That was good. Oh, Ooh. trademark it. That only kills my goat <laughs> and my commander. Kills but. your commander. That's pretty important. Yeah, I guess. So you couldn't cast this. Yeah. Because yeah. So it's, it's in your hand. In it's my in hand. your hand. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, in response. And I'm cycling decree of pain. I'm not oh, you're casting cycling it. I'm cycling it because oh, nice. I can't cast it. This was what I was going to do before right. this happened. In response, can I respond to your cycling? I'm yes. assuming. Oh yeah, because it still goes. Well, on you can sec. respond to the trigger. But yeah. All right. Yeah. To the trigger, I'm gonna tap five because it steps for two to draw three cards. Still waiting to see if Shay has a way to bail out Gaddic Teague from what this you minus Shay? two, minus two. Gaddic Teague will die. Okay, so everything gets minus two, minus two. Yes. All right, and I draw a card. My goat bear. Mm. Okay. I will tap six. 
a Chroma's Vengeance. Slap that right on that plane. Oh, did you see me? I slapped <laughs> the crap out of it. Destroy all creatures, artifacts, and enchantments. Hey, it hurts me too. Mm. Uh, priority first to Shay. Shay? Any in response type uh, of I think heroic I have intervention? A oh, crap. I mean, you can't. It is a, a heroic intervention. Shay, oh. you, you played really well. Oh, <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. that's uh -oh. not it. Neutralize, oh. counter target spell. Oh. Let's go. Oh the mic levels, you're destroying people at home on the headphones. Oh my, god. Oh. Oh my lord. Oh, that's brute. Oh my god. Dang. Dang. Uh, so countered, um, I guess I will sacrifice the zealous conscripts to Woe Strider to scry. And we'll keep that on top. And okay. I have no other responses. Uh, I just have a response that Blake killed two of my lands as well because they're artifacts. Nice. I think that's your fault. <laughs> lands. Oh, this is indestructible. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ignit bailout. But look at all this. The insight's crap. gone. Yep. The sarcophagus Everything's is gone. gone. Oh yeah. yeah, that hurt me uh, a lot. Yeah, that <laughs> I was. I mean, it's not like it did nothing. But oh, the double windmill slam turn is a good one, to say the least. Wow. Holy cow. Oh, man. Okay, wow. Down to six. And you're mana. at one. I know. Yeah. And you're tapped and out. And my, my Yadaro is at one as well. What an empty battle. That's how many times I've it? cycled it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In that case, I will pass the turn to Shay. Wow. Oh, Shay. Man. You had that so set up. Man. What a freaking blue player, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> For real. Feeling great. <laughs> but at one life, you're feeling great. I, 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 I don't. Feeling okay. <laughs> I, think, I, I think someone's gonna smash you quickly. Oh, I think that, I'm dead. That's okay though. We'll see what happens. I don't have haste. I can only make O ones. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> Lisa, uh, you. Uh, you. I will pass the turn. Okay. I will draw. Do you not have another land for? Oh, you got the she, Gruel got Gruel destroyed. Got destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. Her signet okay. got blown up. I, I want to see that. Picture. All right, uh, Blake. Cards in your hand. I got six. Six cards in your hand? Six. Six cards in your hand. Six. Six <laughs> whole cards in your hand. You want to count them? No. <laughs> okay. But I will cast Jex Jessica's Will oh, for six mana, I think. Well, let me figure this out. Okay. You could target Shay or somebody else. I mean, I think that they that wouldn't be enough. Shay is one. Yeah. I'm just saying three. it's an option. Jessica's <laughs> Will, uh, target Blake, I want six red mana. Six okay. red mana is fine by me. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Kozilek the Great Distortion. That's oh, it's not fine by me. <laughs> Which, uh, cast trigger, I draw six cards, and this ha is a 12-12 menace, and I can discard a card with mana cost X to counter a target spell with converted mana cost X. So that'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, when it enters the battlefield, if you have fewer than seven cards, I draw cards equal to difference. And two, three, four, five, six, and we're back in the game. Oh baby. Oh, oh baby. I'm glad I swung at you last turn. <laughs> oh baby. Um, I'll play a Phyrexian Tower. This is tap for a colorless or sacrifice a creature for two black, and I'm done. I'm gonna untap my dudes, my lands, I guess. <laughs> and draw a single card. Ooh. I'll play a Temple of the False Gods for my land for turn. Do you feel dirty having to have teamed up with me, CGB? Okay I feel it? like even if I win, it's tainted now. <laughs> like, like I didn't. To be fair, I, did, I had to turn to Blake for. I had to help Blake to do it. How oh, the mighty have fallen. Uh, it's kind of gross. <laughs> I don't really. I'm. Mm, mm. I'm gonna tap six and play Steel Hellkite. It's a flying five five for two. I can make it plus one plus zero oh until end of turn. And if it deals combat damage to a player. I can pay X and destroy each non-land permanent with that mana value. Whoa. Who has dealt damage? Uh, what's the mana cost of that card? Six. It is on the stack. Resolves. Okay. Hmm. I will pass. Uh, you didn't ask me for my pass pass priority. He's a <laughs> he's a kozel like so. True. <laughs> All You're set? tapped out as well. Okay, <laughs> there's no free counters in Magic the Gathering? I mean, there are, but... We go to the Gatherer on. website. <laughs> He's just feeling disrespected. Because, <laughs> you know... 
I'm just sad. He just wishes he could tap his shiv and refer, you know, colored man without dying, but he can't. I also have two <laughs> lands that make me pay two, pay life in my hand. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. You can't crack, oh, you can't crack, you fetch land. I know, I'm so sad. <laughs> I'm going to play a river glide pathway. I will pay five mana, and it's time for Gavi, Nest Warden. You have a commander? Yeah, what? <laughs> I do now. So what, can I get a read? It's been about yeah. an hour and a half. <laughs> this is a cheeky little 2-5 human shaman. Uh, I can pay zero rather than pay the cycling cost of the first card I cycle each turn. And whenever I draw my second card each turn, I make a 2-2 two -two red and white dinosaur cat creature token, who is adorable. I'm excited for the cat dinosaurs. Well, here they come. Maybe. If everyone's cool with that. Uh, five is the cost. We just, okay. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't. I would never I counter would never. your card draw or your commander. I will cycle a hamping, hampering sphere. I will make the cutest dino cat boy. Oh my Meow. goodness. Yeah. It's not even colored though. Yeah, come on, man. You want to go to Indy and go find it for me then? <laughs> no, I got to work think so. for Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I will then pay three and cast Astral Drift. This is a very important card. When I cycle Astral Drift or when or cycle another card while this is on the battlefield, I may exile target creature. If you do, return that creature to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step. Oh, what's the casting cost of that? Three. Resolves. <laughs> Buddy. Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> Pal. I've got a Timber Gorge, but as I like to say, uh, Timber George. Oh, good friend. <laughs> I just like that. Um, it enters tapped, and I will pass the turn. Oh. I knew a dude named George was into timber. Big story. <laughs> Big, All right. story. Big story. <laughs> All right. I will untap, draw, Ben. What's up? You turned <laughs> on me. You I turned did. on you me did. in my moment of weakness. <laughs> yeah. Break him. 12, 12 menace attacks I mean, you. I was kind of expecting that. Okay. Personally. I mean, it must, it must be done. I mean, I have the most life. I turned on you. Like, yeah. Dude, you I might, was going to yes. attack you on my turn anyway. But it was oh still... Oh, my goodness. It was still <laughs> dramatic and epic the oh, way yeah. I did it. Yeah, oh, I, sure, liked sure. It. Okay. I liked yeah. it. I liked it. Good, good. I just wanted that to be clear. <laughs> um, I will tap this for the colorless... Let's see. Mana, mana, mana is hard. I will oh. play my commander. Yeah. It's a good devouring chaos because I would love to get back to what this deck was supposed to be all about and flip over my top <laughs> card and maybe do a bunch of damage with it that I've never actually gotten to do in this whole freaking game. So, yeah, I'm fine though, this is fine. Mm. And I'll play Crawling Barons. This is a land you can pay for to put plus one, plus one counters on and it can eventually attack as a creature. And I will cast Arcane Signet and I will cast Dire Fleet Hoarder. This is a two one that when it dies, I make a treasure and I'm done. I'm gonna shock in a godless shrine. Pay two for that. Okay. I don't know if I need to, but may as well be safe, right? I guess. <laughs> I got enough <laughs> life. So. I mean, I don't know. You can probably do something epic here. I didn't need to, actually. Well, I don't know why. So you have nine mana? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I mean, that, I was that Hellkite was... is interesting. Yeah. What a card. But you're gonna wanna be careful attacking me with it. Oh, oh, come on now. I have an Astral Drift out. He actually wants to be careful attacking me with that. Sorry, what does that do? It exiles it until the end of your turn. Oh, okay, gotcha. If he cycles a card. If I cycle a card. He might not have a card to cycle. True. Well, what happened to our team? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'll go to Lasted combat. two seconds. <laughs> I'm talking through the situation on the board because that's what my youtube self does. That's fair. That's how I'm I'll I'm going to tap six. And give him plus three, plus O till end of turn. That's pretty cool. And then I'll swing for eight at CGB. Flying. Bum, 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 bum. And uh, so eight? Eight, yeah. Eight? So I'm down to eight? Yep. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm at eight. In my second main, I'll tap three to play a scrap trawler. Whenever it or another artifact you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, return to your hand and target artifact in your graveyard with lesser mana value. And then I'll pass. I'm going to play 
a very dangerous prismatic vista over <laughs> here, <laughs> where it belongs. Try not to try not to sacrifice that. Yeah, I'm gonna try really hard, and then I will pass my turn. Okay. Uh oh, she's turning mana sideways. Wait, did she play a land? She did not play a land. Okay. Still scary though. It is. I mean, it's dinosaurs. Dinosaurs, <laughs> you know, they do things. Tap in five for Garrick, Primal Hunter. That's a that's a card. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah that's fine. <laughs> I like Garrick. I'm gonna do the plus one to create a three three green beast token. I was about to say, why wouldn't you draw cards? But <laughs> it would be a bad idea. Yes, I have no creatures. She's still in rebuild mode from uh, your <laughs> epic. She game. literally said she was going to kill me next turn on her turn. So. I mean, she did. She did. She did. That. Yeah, we, she did. We did make that arrangement. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that arrangement might still stand. I think they I might, do have they, some they might still here. be. Uh, yeah, you do have some beasts here. Friendly. Here. <laughs> you, you put in the work. Thank yeah. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, Blake, you mean I, nothing. I, I, do, I do try. <laughs> he was having trouble, dude. so I figured dude. just. <laughs> dude. Dude. Clearly, I'm hustling. Trying to do yeah, so is that nice. beast over to the floor. Oh. You so can grab salty. the next one. I'll allow it. Oh. I'll allow it. It was awesome. It was so salty. salty. Okay. Okay. Uh, that will conclude my turn. I'm going to sack the Dire Fleet Hoarder on my upkeep to scry two, and I'm grabbing a treasure. All right, go to draw. I'll play Shrine of Forsaken Gods. It taps for a colorless, or it taps for two colorless if I have seven or more lands. Woo. I will activate Hitsugu Devouring Chaos. I will reveal the top card of my library and exile it. I can play it this turn, and it does damage equal to its mana value to any target. It is Chandra's Ignition, which is a sorcery that it, for five mana does target creature I control deals damage equal to its power to each other creature and each opponent. Oh. And uh, I'm going to deal the damage to... Oh man, I, I'm supposed to target Blake because he could have a counter spell for it. And I just, oh, I'm, I'm struggling because despite what you may believe, there's honor in here. Just a little. Um, I'm going to target the... Uh, you do whatever you feel is right. I'm not going to... I'm going to target the Garrick. Oh, that's five, isn't it? Yeah, because this doesn't kill the Garrick. I thought it was doing five. Yeah, this does five, like the Hitsugu, um, trigger. The, the trigger, I'm targeting the Garrick. But it does five. Yeah, it does right. five. Thank the, you. Oh. That itself doesn't Gotcha. It. But okay. this hasn't been cast yet. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm okay. shooting down the primal one here. Dang. And um, I wish I could only target a few people, but I can't. I, so, I mean... Oh, Blake. We finally did some cool I, stuff I know. Together. We actually had fun. We finally, we we finally like, saw eye to eye for a second there. Oh, but I know what you can do. Yeah. You can just yes. cycle the... Oh. Do not test me. Clever, Blake. Because I'm at one, please. <laughs> yeah, one. And I'll die. Clever. I see you now. Okay. Don't make me. I'll sack my Prismatic Beast. <laughs> Don't make me do it. <laughs> um, in that case, I'm gonna cast two red for a Volcanic Salvo. This spell costs X less to cast, where X is the total power creatures you control. Six damage to each of up to two target creatures and or planeswalkers. So I'm going after these two. Okay. No remix to Chandra's Ignition, I see. Nope. Changed my mind hmm. for some it's reason. Fresh them, right? out the kitchen. Just uh, destroys them? Yeah, it destroys them. You will get the triggers from the Scrap right, Trawler so if they die. Yeah, yep. yeah. They, they die. But um, So you get uh, something four or less? Five or less. Or two or less. Oh, yes. You got it. You got no. it. Yep. Do your thing. I'm gonna get the glaring spotlight and the Forsaken it? Monument. Oh, yeah, the, on, those are to the hand though, right? Yes, they are, sorry. Okay. 
<laughs> that's like, that, that's a hand. lot better than yeah. I remember. Oh my gosh, okay. That makes, I was like, whoa. I mean, then, what? I attack you for 12. Again? Okay. Yes. <laughs> Get him. It's going to take a few hits to do what I need to do, which is destroy you. And um, I'm Where going to escape the Woe Strider. Again? Yes, again. <laughs> I always forget you can do that more than once. Is the necrobone still in your graveyard? It is, but I'm, you know what? I've moved on. I'm going to exile the oh. necropones <laughs> and the diamond and the booties and the hoarder, I guess. And this comes back, escapes, two plus one plus one counters, one goat. Bah. Bah. <laughs> you make such a good goat, dude. You make such a good goat I practice sounds. in my free time. I'm sure you do. <laughs> and I'm going to exile the Chandra's Ignition because if I didn't, I might be, I might have been bluffed here, but he can probably just cycle something to the astral thing and get rid of it. Anybody wondering why I did that? And I'm done. Okay. Okay, I untap, now I will draw. I will tap one, two, three, four, five, for a Forsaken Monument. Okay. Resolves. I will tap one for a glaring spotlight. I will gain two life. I will discard Dark Ritual to Koza like the Great Distortion no. and counter your glaring spotlight. Okay. We'll resolve. Is it when you cast? Yeah, yeah it is. I double checked. Two more to play Clock of Omens. Wait, what's that do? I tap two untapped artifacts and I untap target artifact. Oh, God. Yes. Ben it's has good. another way to dirtle. <laughs> dirtle and dirtle. And, oh and then I will play a Terramorphic Expanse return, emptying my hand. And I will sacrifice that for a Let's Go Island. And I then I... Then two. I, oh, and I will gain two life off that as well. And then I will pass. And I'll your... grab this cool island right Ooh, here. Oh, yeah. At the end of your turn, though, I will use Gavi Nestwarden to cycle a decree of justice for free, and I will pay a. I will pay a healthy, ten mana to make ten one ones. Ten. Ten one ten? one soldier boys. Whoa. Oh man. Okay. If that's cool with everyone, you can't really counter that. <laughs> so. Is it cool with you that I do this uncounterable thing? <laughs> Just gotta ask. Yep, yep. <laughs> I just said it's reversal. I oh, do it instead. I gotta ask, but I know. Really or that's not even. That's not, no, that wouldn't work. That'll count. Oh, they're so cute. I got 64, and, and I will draw <laughs> off the decree. Okay. Okay. Untap my lands. Play another very dangerous land. <laughs> City of Press. Oh my god. <laughs> if somebody makes you tap that somehow, Please leave I will alone. just, that will be my favorite ending Please no. to a game ever. Just Please no. icy manipulator, tap your City of Press. No. I have that in the bag. <gasps> no. <laughs> I've been killing people with that since Ice Age. <laughs> I will then cycle Vizier of Tumbling Sands on my turn for free with Gavi. Untap your City of Brass. Just kidding. I know, just please. Kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> And then I will draw a card. The dinosaur cat, though, right? Yes. Got it. Get out of here. Got it. <laughs> Get my I was, I was just, I do this right. I was just being sure. I will attack Ben yeah, for eight, okay. leaving four dudes left behind because Shay might try to murder me. Mm -hmm. There is a beast over there. There is a wee beastie. Actually, and with the astral drift trigger, get that token out of here. Oh. Get your goat out of here. Wait, what? My goat? Yep. Why my goat? What's wrong with the goat? Because I'm just, poor Shay's not got a lot over there. <laughs> oh my god. And gosh, I'm a good you're friend. such a softy. I'll, I'll sacrifice the goat to... <laughs> Despite um, trying to murder me, we're still friends, right? To the Woe Strider. Yeah. Never mind, I take it back. Put that on the bottom. <laughs> I wish I could take it all back. <laughs> and then I will pass the turn. Okay. Tap in two for Cindervine. <gasps> <gasps> Wait, that says whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, it deals one damage to that player? 
<laughs> um, oh, that's hilarious. Uh, what else does it do? Um, <laughs> I can pay a colorless to sacrifice it. Destroy target <laughs> artifact or enchantment. Sundervines deals two damage to the tournament's <gasps> controller. Uh, on the stack. <laughs> um, You're really getting I don't, Blake. You're I don't have a way to counter it. Um, how about you, Ben? I am empty-handed. And I wouldn't counter it anyway. Blake? <laughs> Dude, that's like your last... That, 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 that's got to be it if that resolves, man. I don't know how you get out of that. It resolves. <laughs> oh, but will she use it? As far as I'm concerned, she could just leave. Deal it. still stands, right? What? <laughs> <laughs> you have nothing to offer anymore. <laughs> I guess you could yeah, blow up your Forsaken Monument, but I mean that would let Blake into it. Oh God, that's such a. I don't know. Whatever you want to do, Shay. That's that's such a piece. I mean, how does it get activated? I, I heard, but I didn't so listen. So the first part is just whenever an opponent casts a non-creature spell, Cinder oh. Vines deals one damage to that player. Okay. So I do kind of like that component <laughs> of it. <laughs> like just locking Blake out of his out of the game. <laughs> and <laughs> don't make me do it. I'll do it. I swear to God. Um. So I don't think I'm gonna sack it. Okay. I'm not gonna sack it. Okay. What else are we doing? What I am gonna do. Yes, I'm gonna pay four for a natural order. Whoa! Is that even legal? Oh my gosh! So uh, really I'm gonna sacrifice my my beast. What's to get? search my library for a green creature card, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle. Oh, okay. So, we are going to go with Golta. Insert T-Rex roar. Hunger, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely has a T-Rex. <laughs> yes. Um, okay, then I will shuffle real quick. That's big. Galta has entered. And I also just want to say, you know, the last time I played dinos, I only got one dinosaur out, so I feel pretty good. Yeah. yeah. Galta, got a whole park's worth. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we've we've had the dino experience. I'm still trying to get out alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I'm not sitting in a Jeep right Yes. Now. And with that, I will pass the turn. Okay. No cards in hand? No cards okay. in hand. Okay. Ben has no cards in hand. Blake has cards, but probably can't use them very well. <laughs> with Cinder Vines on the battlefield. Okay, this is getting extra spicy. All right, draw. Okay, let's spin the wheel of the Devouring Chaos. And this is a blind flip. I'm not scrying or anything. We're just exiling the top card. And it is... Treasure map. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is one of my favorite commander cards, but it's not very handy right now. Um, so uh, it's, it's a two a cost. Yeah, one mana, I can tap it to scry one for counters and then eventually flip and do other things. Um, am I going to cast it, though? You may play it this turn. I don't have to decide yet. I don't have to decide yet. I have to decide before the end of the turn. Where's the damage going? Yeah, I've got a point two damage. It, uh, it's fine. I but I, I get it. I need your hope. Like. Does it have to be? Yeah, I I kind of <laughs> want them to do Somehow. something to do it because if I if I hit you, her cinder vines can hit like one of my artifacts, but uh, but it might also hit Ben's artifact. I kind of, uh, this is tough. All right. The Galt is definitely the thing I have to somehow endure, and I'm in huge trouble if you draw land. I'm going to target Shay. Just two to your face. Okay. <laughs> also, Cinder Vines will trigger. It hasn't been cast yet. Oh, okay. But I mu that might happen before the end of the turn. Okay. I, I promise. I'm on the watch for it. <laughs> All right. Uh, colorless. Sanctum of Ugin, whenever I cast a colorless spell with mana cost seven or greater, I can sacrifice this, search my library for a colorless creature. Mm. 
All right, sacrifice this for red. Two, three red. One, two, three, four, five, and three red. I'm gonna try to cast Miosian of the Roaring Blades. This is from the <laughs> yeah. Kamigawa Commander set. It enters the battlefield with an indestructible counter on it. If I cast it from my hand, it's a 7-4. I can remove the indestructible counter and deal seven damage to each of up to three targets. Okay. Raw. Yeah, that's, that, that's a good indestructible counter. Seven damage that's to spooky. three targets. Man, can I take a damage here? Does it, does it have to be different targets? Up, uh, um, it deals seven damage to each of up to. So yes, oh, okay. it has okay. to be different targets. Okay. It's 21 to my face. Dude, <laughs> oh, brutal. Dude, this is so scary with the Galta. I'm so scared, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I'm going to take the damage though. I'm gonna cast Treasure Map because it's one of my favorite cards. And I'm done. <laughs> Uh, at the end of your turn, I will cycle Starstorm for free. <laughs> I drew nothing. Drew land. Uh huh. Sure. <laughs> sure you did. Zero mana. Gain twenty life. <laughs> Zero. <Yeah, right. laughs> Might be what it takes. Uh, untap. My dude. Draw a card. Play Hall of the Storm Giants tapped. Wah, 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 wah. But the commander can get back in the game. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> okay. Um, resolves for me. Yeah, that's cool by me. Yep. That can power up the artifacts again. The ingot's indestructible too. That's really cool. Yeah, that is kind of nice. <laughs> I just really... Once I have one, I can turn a dark steel citadel into a creature. Ingot? In yeah. Yeah, the Citadel would die. <laughs> yeah. Come back at the end I'll of turn. I'll swing five at Shay. What? The 12-12? Yeah. Oh. Well, actually... That's interesting, because I have the Meosian. I see you. Yeah, I see yeah you. I'll do that. I see what you're doing. Uh -huh. I shouldn't have said that out loud just that. now. <laughs> oh, wait, you're, you're not blocking? I'm not blocking. All right, I'll give it lifelink and death touch. Oh, there's that too. Yeah. That's also a pretty good move. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Uh, almost got her to block. So that's my turn. You need something good off the top here, folks. Carefully. Oh, you just touched both those lands and made me nervous, <laughs> man. What you're making me nervous. <laughs> He's, he's, he's in the zone right now. I'm in the zone. <laughs> he's trying to look for cards he can cast without yeah. casting them. Yeah. Luckily, if any deck can do some stuff, it's it, this one. Yeah, it it's is. One. I will cycle Lava Serpent for free, and then I will draw a card. And slide? Yeah, slide trigger. Or it's not slide, is it? Uh, drift. drift, yeah, Astral Slide. Drift. Uh, we'll target Galta. And then I will play yet another land. Now I'll move to combat. Shay, I will attack you with two two twos and eight one ones. So yeah. a total of twelve damage. You're tempting fate. I, unless you want her to pop that Cinder Vines. I don't know. He doesn't care at this point. Yeah, I'm pretty much dead. I'll take twelve. Wow. Go ahead. <laughs> Unreal. Okay, is that your turn? Yep. Gold is back. He's back. Gold is here. If it's a tap land, I'm gonna cry so hard. I, not that. No! Oh, no! Oh, no! Ancestry! Oh no! Not Where like that. Where does the draw ever? <laughs> oh man. What do, now? Do, 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 wow. Do. Oh no. I'm keeping Galta as a blocker, so I will not be attacking. Okay. Passing the turn. Scry with treasure map. Is it a good one? It's a, it's a something. Staying on. It's a cool looking natural letter. Oh, this is close. <laughs> it's really close. 
Uh, it's better than drawing a land. It stays on top. Yeah, that's fair. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Untap. It's something I know I can cast with this. So right. on my upkeep, I'm going to activate Hitsugu Devouring Chaos. And I'm going to exile my top card. And it can be cast this turn. And it's going to deal four damage to a target. This is Zariel, Archduke of Avernus, who has a lot of abilities. The four mana, Planeswalker for four loyalty. The plus one is plus two, plus one, plus O, oh, and haste until end of turn. The zero is a one one red devil. Those are the ones that are important. Four damage. Blake, it's time. No. I'm going to try to end the game this turn, and I'm sorry, but it's time. This I tell you, Blake. I'm not dying to you. What? 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 Oh. City of Traders. <laughs> Death trigger on the stack. I'm going to Zenith flare you and die to the stupid <sighs> Cinder Vines. <laughs> How? What? 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 Wait a minute. Okay, so that's on the stack. It doesn't resolve. It I doesn't die. resolve? No, I die first. <laughs> <laughs> that's not nearly as exciting. I thought, I thought that was going to like take me down too. Oh. Oh, that that was. Oh. I almost died to a zenith flare. Was that your draw? That made you. That made the face. Oh my god. And I remembered that the stupid cinder vines made it so that I couldn't gain twenty life. Mm. Okay, uh, so still upkeep. I'm gonna scry again with the treasure map. Gonna put this to the bottom, and gonna go to draw step. Oh my gosh, what a draw. <laughs> <laughs> What's that mean? What a stupid draw right now. <laughs> Just when you thought it was over. <laughs> oh boy. Um, I thought you said you were going to kill everyone this time. I, I, I want to, but I also want to cast this card. <laughs> <laughs> Shay, uh -huh. I'm attacking you. With these creatures, Whoa. Whoa, Strider, Kozilek, Whoa. and the Miosian of Roaring Blades. Wow. Kozilek has Menace. Blades it. So that will get through. Yep, that's coming through. Mm -hmm. Yep, we'll block here. Okay. So take 12 and then take 5. So 17. And we're going to remove the indestructible counter. <clears throat> we're going to deal 7 damage to Shay's face, to Ben's face, and to your commander, Ben. Right. So. Oh, you didn't choose yourself? Okay. No, I didn't choose myself. <laughs> like, I, I mean, uh, do you have any response to the counter? You still have a Cinder Vines. Yeah. Well, what's your treasure map doing? Allowing you to scry? Yeah. Yeah, if I scry one more time, it flips over. I get three treasures, and I can sack them to draw cards. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll target your uh, treasure map. Sacrificing Cinder Vines. Okay. So I take two. I go to yep. five. No. Nah. Uh, Miosian dies because it's no longer indestructible. Shay's out, the commander's out, Ben is down to a low life total. Let's see. Yep, let's uh, cast the Zariel and make a devil. Now I'm going to use that freaking cobalt thing as a devil. <laughs> Dude, that cobalt is putting in work <laughs> this game. Yes. Okay, uh, so I've got a 1 1 that when it dies, I can do 1 damage to any target. I'm going to also cast, let's see, Overflowing Chalice for two, which your commander might turn into a zero zero <laughs> creature at some point, but whatever. And I'm done. So you just have the one blocker. I have one little blocker. Okay. My turn? Your turn. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Help me right now, but. Yeah. Okay, I'll tap four, two for that, seven. Eight, no, eight, nine, to cast my commander. Okay. For nine. For nine? <laughs> for nine. And you have like two blue left, not yep. including the ingot. Not including right. the ingot. Yes. Right, so. I was hoping I'd map right and he doesn't have a way to kill this devil and I get to survive. <laughs> I don't know. Does he got it? I'm going to tap two and make 
uh, you know, the ingot, or no, yeah, the ingot and the Forsaken Monument creatures. Now oh, swing no. for. Wait, they get the bonus too. Yep. Oh, so they're both. It's five, five, and seven, seven. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. forgot this. <laughs> so twelve as CGB. <gasps> I. <laughs> and one's indestructible. I just have one blocker. <laughs> right out of your face. I'm blocking one of them. That's but I take five. Yeah. It's exactly lethal. Yeah. <laughs> no. You got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. Let's go. <laughs> Good game. Good game. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh. Finally won one. You did it. <laughs> what was that, the seventh one? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I had Meek Stone in my hand. Meek Stone? Yeah. It wouldn't have helped me, though. Oh, you have a one one. Like, I whatever. was so heartbroken. <laughs> I drew that Xena flare. I'm like, I just need to wait for someone to force the Cinder <laughs> She could have even used it on me. Yeah. <laughs> that was so sick, though. Ben. Yeah. You are the champion of the worst I, possible yeah. commander game here today. What's your card of the game? It, it's got to be a Forsaken oh, yeah. Monument. Forsaken yeah. Monument did. It was it did tutored so for work. like early. It came out. It's been a 7-7 seven, no, seven on many occasions. I, it's gained life. Yeah, I tutored <laughs> twice. Yeah, I think I did tutor. You got it out of the graveyard. You, yeah. you did it again. It's attacked yeah. for God knows how much damage. Yeah, a lot, a lot of additional damage for sure. What a yeah. We're probably gonna find out later. We missed more damage, <laughs> and it probably did other gain life that we missed. And yeah, yeah um, awesome card. Dude. Ooh, that awesome. was great. Well, Blake, <laughs> weird game for you. <laughs> A lot it was a of weird ups one. and downs. Um, a lot of downs. Yep. One of the <laughs> tougher spots I've ever seen somebody try to get out of. I was working on it. And that's why my card of the game is Zenith Flare. Because if things have gone just a skosh different, I had 20 cards with cycling in my yard. I would have nugged somebody for 20, gained 20, and actually had a shot to win. Such a, so, such a magic player thing to pick the card that didn't actually get to do the thing. <laughs> I put it on the stack, though. <laughs> it's very pretty. And you scared it, me. I know. <laughs> With the fear of God. Yeah, that's in what me. I tried. Well, gave me PTSD. That's from... actually why I chose oh, yeah, this man. card of the game. Just a little gross. A little fear on the way out. Oh. Mm -hmm. Shay, card of the game. Yeah. So I have Corsewood Crasher. I mean. Did lots of stuff with getting those, uh, getting the tokens, dinosaurs onto the battlefield. I felt really good about that, and it was, you know, more more dinos, and I was, you know, needed to make up for last time. Oh yeah. Definitely honorable mention for Gaddock Teague. Um, He's still upset. Look at yes, him. He's still yes, upset. Simply for. Come on, man. Yes. <laughs> Blue mages aren't used to getting told no. I know. I don't like it. It felt pretty good. So, yeah, those are those are mine. All right, I'm gonna go with Kozilek the Great Distortion. The <laughs> yeah. card, like, I, I felt like I was out of the game for a good amount of time, and then I was able to cast this off. What did I draw, Jessica's Will? Jessica's Will. Yeah, yeah. I, so I drew Jessica's Will. He had just enough cards in hand I that I got. Me, or, yeah. yeah. Blake had just mm -hmm. enough cards in hand that I was able to cast it with the lands I had, and it was right back in the game. Almost got me over the finish line, too. It's a shame. Uh, but yeah, I'll give it to Kozilek. So. Uh, good game, guys. That got absolutely ridiculous, yeah. but it was a lot of fun. Leave a comment this week. Ben is going to be picking his favorite <laughs> comment. It. The winner gets a Cool Stuff Inc. $50 gift code sent to them. So make sure you leave those comments. And please remember, if you watched the video this long, you probably liked it. So hit like and please hit subscribe. Make your voice heard. Let us know that you want more of the worst possible Commander Show. Thank you for watching. And um, yeah, how do I end videos? Oh yeah, that's right. On behalf of the cast, you're cool.